Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about creating an effective LinkedIn profile. The main reason you want to consider having an updated LinkedIn profile is really to make it easy for recruiters to be able to find you. Recruiters will utilize LinkedIn to search for a candidate with the relevant um, skills and experiences that they're looking for for their position. So in this video, I'm going to focus on helping you get started by talking about how to choose your profile picture, um, how to talk about different uh, relevant keywords within different sections of your uh, LinkedIn profile, and then how to personalize your LinkedIn URL. So for your photo, you want to make sure that you start off with a good first impression. Uh, so things to consider is make sure that you're the only person in the photo. So definitely avoid any group photos. Uh, make sure that you're smiling so that you appear more welcoming. Um, and then in order for folks to be able to see your smile, make sure that you're cropping around your head and shoulders and uh, really try to avoid like super zoomed out photos. If you don't already have a photo that meets that criteria, uh, definitely avoid selfies and instead ask someone to take a photo of you either with a camera or even with your smartphone. Um, or you can also visit our career success office. We also have a photo booth that you can uh, utilize for free to um, update your LinkedIn profile photo. The next thing I'll talk about is really keywords, which are gonna be the most important component of your LinkedIn profile. So you do wanna make sure that you're tailoring your profile to your desired industry. So similar to the guidance that we provide for resume is like, Tailoring your material here is going to help you get optimized for the positions that you ultimately are looking for. So things to consider is when you're looking for keywords, I recommend really start searching for prospective job descriptions and uh, utilize that as a way to help you identify like what are the most important uh, keywords, skills, and experiences that uh, companies are looking for, specifically in the types of positions that you ultimately want to apply for. Um, and then the best place within your profile to highlight those are going to be your headline, your about, and experience sections. So for your headline, you want to make sure that you have an impactful headline because this will be one of the first things that uh, recruiters see when they're pulling up your profile. Um, this is going to be a great opportunity for you to customize and add some of those relevant keywords that you find. By default, LinkedIn will basically make your headline your current job title and your um, company that you're currently working at. But you can definitely customize that, add keywords. Um, sometimes folks also like mirror job, job titles that they wanna do. Or if you're looking to transition positions or careers, uh, know that you can again, always change that default and it doesn't always have to be what your current job position is. So here's an example. Uh, somebody who has, again, like their current position that gets defaulted from uh, LinkedIn, but then they also went in and added some of the key skills that uh, they've done as part of their experience. The next section we recommend focusing on is your about section. So this is where you're able to really kind of like summarize your overall experience. Uh, this is a really great place, again, to include some more of those keywords um, highlight on the skills that um, you meet for the specific positions that you're interested in. So again, doing this will really make it easier for recruiters to find you whenever they're uh, searching on the back end for candidates. And the other thing we recommend also is focus on the highlight to highlight your key accomplishments, because not only like do you want to be found by recruiters, but you also want to be able to stand out with some of your accomplishments. So here's an example of a way to consider when you're doing your about section where you can highlight both your experience. Uh, you can also talk about like your passions and then also the um, different skills that you also have. This uh, section, again, it's super customizable. You can go about it different ways, but essentially highlighting your relevant skills and accomplishments is really going to be the key goal here. Uh, the last major section to really focus on is going to be your experience section. And for some of you, this actually might be like the first place that you start off with. 
uh, because this is the section that's going to be most closely um, looking like your resume. So uh, if you're struggling to get started, this is typically a good spot to start because you can, if you already have a resume, you can literally just copy and paste uh, your experience section from your resumes. Uh, but again, ultimately, like at the end of the day, you do want to make sure that it's tailored for the specific industry or positions that you're ultimately looking to apply to. Um, a thing that LinkedIn has also implemented in the different sections, but specifically the experience section, is that you can specifically call out some of the skills that you also have. So show you an example here of the things I have highlighted again here is you'll see that this person has bulleted their different experiences or their different skill sets within their experience. But I specifically called out like making sure again that you're highlighting like not only the skills that you did, but like what was the overall result or accomplishments from those experiences. And then on the bottom, you'll see there that again, LinkedIn has a built-in feature now where you can specifically call out uh, different skills that you did during each experience. And the last section I'll talk about is really personalizing your LinkedIn URL so that you can make it easier for basically more for you to share it, uh, your LinkedIn profile with other people. The default LinkedIn uh, URL is typically like your first name, dash, last name, dash, and then a bunch of like random characters at the end. So you can definitely change that. Things I suggest is either your first name, dash, last name, or just first and last name with no spaces. And then this final version of it is something that you can also link in your resumes or your CVs. So in order to update that, once you're logged into your LinkedIn profile, you will basically go to the top right where you see your me section. Once you click on that, you can click on the link that says view your profile. And then from there on the top right, you'll see a section that has your public um, profile and URL. And if you click on that little pencil, that will basically allow you to edit your URL. And it'll also sh tell you like if what you're trying to utilize is already being used or if it's available. So that's really a super easy way to, again, make it super readable. And it just makes it so much easier to share out your um, URL with other folks. So just to recap, um, really the main benefits again for having an updated LinkedIn profile is for you to have a uh, updated photo to make a really good first impression, but really focus in on those relevant keywords. Um, and if you're not really sure how to get started, like if you already have a resume, utilizing that as a starting point is always a good idea. Thank you very much.